Welcome to ABCNJ Alive, a ministry of the American Baptist Churches of New Jersey. My name is Lee Spitzer. I serve as executive minister and senior regional pastor of the region. My special guest today is Mr. Eli Haddad, the president of the Arab Baptist Theological Seminary in Beirut, Lebanon. He has been touring the churches of New Jersey over this past week. Today, we would like to discuss how Baptists are engaged in mission throughout the Arab world. In the presentation that you shared with us at Chesterfield Baptist Church last night, you spoke about the issue of the fear of the other, the fear mm -hmm. that Christians often have of Muslims. Can you share a little bit more insight about that? Because we grew up in a place where there are different communities and sometimes there's a lot of inter-community conflict, and mm -hmm. uh, we, we grew up in some kind of pressure that uh, it's easy for us to become afraid. And you know how fear paralyzes and uh, it stops us from doing mission. So uh, the transformation that's happening is to that we go beyond the fear into a, more of a relationship of love and respect. I can hear some people perhaps in our audience saying, is it possible to even go beyond fear to true and authentic friendship with people of a different faith? Like can Christians and Muslims become good friends? Absolutely. I have very good Muslim friends. Uh, they are genuine people, uh, they're just like us. Uh, they just uh, grew up in different homes and different cultures and different backgrounds. But uh, they are creating an image and likeness of God and uh, they, they are genuine people like we are. So how would a Christian in an authentic and caring and respectful way share about Jesus to a Muslim neighbor or friend? Let's start on the formal side. Uh, our dialogue events are very helpful in building relationships. And mm -hmm. some people misunderstand dialogue to think it's compromise. It's not. If we compromise, they will not respect us. Mm -hmm. The essence of dialogue, the premise is that we, are, we stand firm on what we believe, but we communicate that with love and respect. It's about creating understanding. We want to understand about Muslims and Islam from Muslims themselves rather than from reading books about them written by Christians. Mm -hmm. And we want them to understand about Christ and our faith from us, and not, not from other uh, sources of information that may not be true. Again, I can hear through the airwaves someone saying, would a Muslim really be open to hearing a Christian talk about Jesus? Absolutely. Uh, first of all, they, uh, they respect the person of Jesus. Although they do not believe he's the son of God, but they respect the person of Jesus. And it, it's always a, a common ground. We can always, it's a good starting point. We can talk about Jesus to, to our Muslim friends, for sure. How has the seminary and its representatives reached out to the Muslim community in Lebanon? By building relationships, by inviting them to our own community uh, during events. And uh, not only the religious leaders, but uh, sometimes uh, uh, students that go to Muslim schools, that they, they come as well and they share with us. And by going and visiting them in their own communities, mm -hmm. that's how we've been building relationships. We go to their mosques and we hear what they have to say. We, we, we want to understand from them uh, what they think and what they value and what they believe. And uh, if, if we believe, if we truly believe that uh, God wants to redeem people from every people group and every nation and every tongue, then he must be actively at work in their communities. Then it becomes our job to start to listen and recognize where God is at work and help come alongside them and help point them to Jesus. So here we are in the United States and in places like New Jersey, mm -hmm. there are just literally thousands of Muslims who mm -hmm. have moved into every community throughout the state. Uh, what advice would you give an American Baptist in one of our churches in New Jersey uh, that would be helpful in order to establish relationship and build bridges so that the love of Jesus can be conveyed? Number one, don't be afraid of them. Uh, they're people just like you and me, mm -hmm. and uh, they, they have their difficulties and they have their challenges, and uh, they need Jesus, just like you and me needed Jesus, and He's in our lives. Uh, build relationships with them, especially newcomers where they want to find a new community to belong to. Uh, it's very important for the church to provide that caring and embracing community that they can invite them to your home, go and visit them in their own homes. That 
That's very important for them. I know that as we talk about Christian witness, words, of course, are very important, mm -hmm. but so are deeds of compassion and caring. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways I believe that the Baptists in Lebanon have been showing the love of Christ in action is through ministry to refugees. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about that activity? Well, in Lebanon, uh, we have 4 million population of Lebanon, and suddenly we have close to 2 million refugees. Uh, mostly from Syria, so this has really put a big stress on on the community and the society, and we're feeling the impact in our own churches. Mm -hmm. Our churches uh, now they're discovering a deeper meaning of what it means to be gospel. Mm -hmm. uh, the, our churches they were so much against anything called social gospel, but now they're discovering the multifaceted face of the of the gospel, and and now they're starting to care for the. Syrian refugees, the Muslims, uh, physically and uh, giving them food portions and uh, winterization projects and uh, visiting them in their homes socially and spiritually. And uh, that's making a big impact on them as well. As we conclude our conversation again, we would certainly want our listeners to be able to get updates on the work of the seminary. What website should they go to in order to find out more about you? They can go to abtslebanon.com. Uh, sorry, .org, that's the English website, .com is the Arabic website. Mm -hmm. uh, they can find us very easily on Facebook, we're active on Facebook. And you can go to our blog site where we post an interesting article every week responding to one of the contemporary issues that's happening in the Arab world. Well, Ellie, this has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for visiting ABCNJ. Mm -hmm.